This is Taylor Anderson with Empowering the Iowa Girl podcast, brought to you by the IGHSAU. And we are here in Dyke, Iowa, at Dyke New Hartford High School in their new gymnasium with the Peterson Twins. So if you guys just introduce yourselves and tell us what year you are and what you're planning on doing after high school. Yes, my name is Peyton Peterson. I will be a senior and I am going to the University of Louisville to play volleyball. I'm Jaden Peterson, I'm a senior, and I'm going to UNI to continue my academic and athletic career. Volleyball, how'd you get into it? Obviously, it's a volleyball family, but tell us a little background about that volleyball family and how you got into volleyball. Yeah, well, probably since we were out of the womb, we were just kind of playing in our living room, and I know when I was younger and me and Peyton were younger, we would look at the UNI volleyball team and then pick one of the players and we'd just act like them, like we'd be... Like I would pick the libero and I'd be passing and then she would be hitting and all that. And then slowly starting up in the club and then doing AAU volleyball, starting in fourth grade with harms. It was just amazing like that. Yeah, I would say like, especially when you have a twin, like you can always compete with each other. We have a basketball hoop in our yard and then a, like a little pole on the other side. And so like we put a string there and like you start playing volleyball. So I think especially having a twin, it helps to be able to grow and play the game. Absolutely, and two older sisters that also yes. played? Yep, yes. And where did they play at? I mean, obviously Dyke New Hartford and then they went on. Yeah, so Sid um, went to play at Texas for four years and then came back for her COVID year to play at UNI and then Bales was at UNI for all of her years. Awesome, and was there some competition between the four of you? And oh yes, always. And playing? Always, there's always, we go and play with my mom sometimes and sometimes it gets a little chippy about whether it was in or out, but um, it's just competing all the time, whether it's backyard, whether it's just going to the gym. Absolutely. You've had some tremendous experiences, with some state championships in basketball and volleyball and at state track. What stands out in each of those arenas, in those fields of competition? What do you remember from the state tournament, from the basketball, from volleyball, and from state track? Yeah, um, each different venue has its own like special thing about it. Like this year for volleyball was really special with like the fire in the championship game. And then basketball just being in front of all those people and then state track doing something that you know isn't probably our favorite thing to do but just being down there is just fun to see all playing at different spots for each sport is special i think most people would play at the same place for volleyball and basketball but um volleyball obviously it's in different city and then basketball down there and then also for track like everyone's there at the same time you have different classes with you so i think just that big atmosphere that you go down there and obviously Jaden said it's not our favorite sport, but we get our, outside of our comfort zone and in front of all those people. How big is the community here in terms of support for Dyke New Hartford Athletics? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, no matter what, we have support. No matter what time of year it is, we have support. So knowing that you have that much support just makes you so much more confident and so much more um, willing to put all your heart out there. What's the best advice a coach or teacher has given either one of you? Is there, is there a mantra, is there something that sticks in your mind that a, a coach, whether it's basketball, volleyball, or track, or a teacher, or, or your mom or dad, is, is, there a, is there, what's the best advice you've received? Um, I would say probably for my mom. She's always um, says that you're more than just a volleyball player, more than just a basketball player. Like, there's so much more in this world that you have look, to look forward to. But, you know, use your abilities that God gave you to bring out the goodness in the world and just continue to work hard. One of my coaches when I was younger, I had made an error on the last point of the game, ma making us lose and go down to like the bronze bracket. And she told me, there's no one else in the gym I would rather have take that swing. So that just instilled some confidence in me, just knowing that even if you make the error at the end of the game, you are still a person, you're still human, and we still make mistakes. Who was a Dyke New Hartford athlete you guys looked up to when you were little? Who was somebody that played here at Dyke New Hartford that when you were a little kid in the gym, you're like, I want to be like that. Obviously our sisters, but I feel like that's kind of a basic answer. So I would just say um, Rachel Coop. I feel like seeing her on the floor is like inspiring because she's always laughing. She's also, gig also giggly and just has so much fun and works hard. Yeah, I would definitely say Rachel too. Watching her at Dyke and Hartford and then she went and played at UNI, just seeing her grow so much and the personality she has as well. Last question for both of you. Outside of sports, outside of the structure and the routine, what do you love to do in your free time? What is your hobby or interest that allows you to decompress from, from everything going on that if you've got a free day, you're gonna go do it? Yes, um, I would say going to the lake. I love being outside, I love being on water, so, or the pond. Um, one of my friends has a pond. But we have a stand-up jet ski that I love to ride, so I would say Perfect. that. 
Perfect. Being in the sun, getting a little tan. Right on. Yeah, I definitely say being outside. I like to do yard games like bags, spike ball, cross net, and all that, especially when it gets competitive with my family and we love to talk smack to each other and then just being with my friends and family. That's great. That's great. Well, thank you so much. We were here for the Monday Minute Challenge today, which is another segment where we were humbled once again in our Monday Minute Challenge. But best of luck this season. We look forward to following you guys, and thank you for allowing us to come in and experience a day at Viking Hartford. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know. <laughs> you want to be honest, I don't even know. No, you do know. I tell you all the time. No, mine. Oh, oh I could put it. something on. I'll probably just say yeah. That's right. Smash uh -huh. burgers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I know. All right. Chicken. All right. Chicken. Well chicken. Done. Three, two, one. One socks inside out. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. Eating your, what did you say? I said eating your pregame snack. She picks it up like the beginning of the year. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or I have to wear two ponytails in my hair. All right. Yep. I just put three, some. two, one. Jason LD. Rihanna? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> top three. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. John Legend. Also, I don't really have one. I would not have a top, but not. You're going to see him in concert on summer. Summer is the only season you two don't play a sport for school. If you played softball, who would be the better softball player? Oh. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys play softball at all? Yeah. We did it, like, all the way up to eighth grade. Yeah. Best volleyball player in the Peterson family. Five, four, three, two. No, actually, no. <laughs> oh, she Go. Changed. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>